for being brought down, as one of you said, because once this knight is traded, you lose the great blockading setup that it has here. And uh, White's Rooks will help that pawn finally crash through. That's how endgames are won. You develop winning plans around the unstoppable force that will be a new queen on the board. So Hikaru head in hand, that's not a, that's not a, a visual that many fans around the world are going to be happy to see if they're just tuning in or even if they've been here for a while. The most popular chess player, maybe? I mean, he's, 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 you know, he's definitely the most popular chess personality and content creator on the planet. He's known to fans. So many people on Twitch might have gotten into the chess game. The chess game. They got into the game, right? Don't hate the player, hate the game. I'm, I'm making references here, but uh, not, not, a, not a fun sight to see for Hikaru to maybe be losing his second game here in Madrid. He's, he's looking at his score sheet, by the way. He, he yeah. isn't thinking about the current position. He already knows he's going to resign. He's looking at the score sheet, trying to figure out, where did I go wrong? How did I have so few chances, seemingly, in an opening in which I'm unquestionably the leading expert? I think the way you look at it is, why was this game so one-sided, right? This was a game where Rajabov, I don't think, ever had, not necessarily the result in doubt, but he never had a question of who was leading yeah. the charge. Yeah. And so Rajabov, he's looking at a car like, all right, you know it's time. But uh, I think that's the thing that bothers chess players the most is like, why was I just so out of this game from such an early point? And it was Rajabov catching him off guard in this opening. Yeah. Well, you know Hikaru felt out of it trying to wake himself up because he grabbed a Fanta earlier. He doesn't want a Fanta, but he did Fanta. He tried to wake himself up. Note that Rajabov has put on his coat. Oh, Speaking uh -oh. of the meme that has been Hikaru's coat when he thinks the game is about to end, Rajabov put on his coat. He knows that this one is imminent, a matter of technique, as they would say. Yeah, I'm not sure what is stopping Hikaru from resigning. I just think he's very upset. Yep. He's letting it settle in. And it's, it's never an easy thing to accept, but he's going to only want one thing. It's not a Fanta. It's for the rest day to end so he can come back and play the next game with the white pieces and try to recover with a win. Let's go back to our bird's eye view. Remind everybody of where we stand here in round nine. Two games have finished. Two games are still going, and uh, one of them being this game right here, which could be imminently ending, and the other game being the Dingley Wren Young Christoph Duda battle. So we've got. We got Duda in charge. We have Rajabov. I mean, look at Rajabov. He, just, he just wants to go. He's literally twiddling his thumbs. Yeah. Yeah. He is. Uh, he's ready. But for Hikaru. Right, you now fall two full points behind the leader. You still have yet to play Jan Napomnesi, and while it's unlikely, if not you know, borderline impossible for him to win first place, we didn't talk about today. We've talked about many other rounds. If Magnus Carlsen doesn't play the World Championship, the person who finishes in second place might get a match against the winner of the candidate. So Hikaru still has quite a lot to play for. And that's definitely in the back of all these players' minds. Even if Jan is running away with it, they can't catch up to him. Maybe they can catch up to Fabiano. Yeah. Second place. Second place matters. You know what, Ricky Bobby? You were wrong. If you ain't first, you're last. Well, not when it comes to the candidates. Potentially. Because if Magnus Carlsen holds true to what he said and decides not to play for the World Chess Championship, not to defend his World Chess Championship title, we could have a really interesting storyline of a first and second place Finishers here from Madrid playing for the title. Wait, isn't this his first win in 35 games? Actually, it's 37 to be exact. It wow. was 29 games coming into the candidates. Eight games have been played. So, uh, the first win in 37 games. You are correct, Chad. Um, all right, well, I think we are going to maybe throw a curveball here and actually throw to a break here because we've got Hikaru on the clock. We're going we're gonna to quick... Quickly get a reset, and we might even be joined by a guest, a very special guest, potentially, on the other side. So you don't want to go anywhere. It's more of a Chess.com's coverage for round nine of the FIDE candidates here in Madrid when we return. <laughs> 